Hey, what's going on? Joshua Elder here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about Novatech. Is it a scam? Is it about to scam out? They just got a cease and desist from the state of California. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys my completely non-biased review of Novatech. What I think after 10 years of experience being in the online business space, I'm gonna give you guys no fluff, no filler. I'm gonna be completely blunt with you guys. So if you're looking forward to the content with this video, please drop the video like. Also, if you like the idea of making money online, passive income, crypto, everything in between, go ahead, subscribe to the channel and tick that bell icon. There will be no links in the description. I'm not here to promote anything. Just wanna give you guys my, again, honest opinion. So I have been in things like this before and it feels like history repeats itself. It starts off in the beginning, people are getting paid out. Even right now, people are getting paid out. What does that do? It builds trust. They do calls, they have their customer support, they consistently follow up, but there's some big gaps here. Gap number one, when you go to Novatech's website, you go to register, you see the address, you see the phone number. You take that address, you throw it into Google, and this is just simple research, you guys, that people overlook because they're getting paid. I get it. You get paid until you don't get paid. But they throw it into Google, address pops up, reviews pop up, which are the review ratings is right around two stars or so. And everybody's saying this is not where Novatech's actually located. The owner of the building says this is not where Novatech's headquarters is. Red flag number one. Red flag number two, you call the customer support number. There's not a real phone, uh, a real human at that phone number. It's just an automated uh, messaging system and you have to either leave a voicemail or email and they'll get back to you. But they don't have customer support, a live agent available at this time. That's red flag number two. Red flag number three, FTX has gone under. BlockFi has gone bankrupt. Not your keys, not your crypto. If you guys heard that before, not your keys, not your crypto. If you do not have your crypto in a non-custodial wallet off of an exchange or in off of uh, another website, okay? It could be Novatech's website, right? You deposit your funds into Novatech. They do the trading for you. They say you can withdraw at any point in time. And that's what these things do which you can until you can't, right? The only way that you actually can have trust in your crypto is if it's in your own wallet where you have access to that wallet with your own seed phrase. That's the only way. Even smart contracts right now, you have to be careful and they have to be successfully audited because even if you stake in a decentralized exchange, you're still running the risk of getting rug pulled. You gotta make sure that there's an audit there. And this is like dial up internet right now, you guys, of cryptocurrency. There's a lot of scamming that's going on and scammers are becoming more savvy. And it's funny because the leaders, the CEO, the owners of this, they might have a unique business setup or they might be in a certain country where they're, they're able to continue to get away with stuff like this. You know, they were a part of AWS, which was a crypto mining platform that got rug pulled. And they, while they didn't own the company, I think they were like presidents of the company, which I don't know the legalities, but I know there's certain things that you could do, jurisdictions to keep yourself safe. And God knows if they just continue to do this. So all this buzz is built up around Novatech right now. And if you go to Google Trends and just type in Novatech, you're gonna see that it's trending upwards quite a bit. And this is typically, when you see a quick upwards trend, this is the perfect time for them to rug pull. But no, 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 Josh, they're, they're telling me that everything's gonna be okay, my funds are safe. The same thing happened to me. I mean, let's jump here to the computer real quickly. And you could see Novatech right here. You could see the uptrend right here. There was a similar scam to this called Burax a few years back. And you can actually see 
the uptrend in Burax, February 21st to the 27th, 2021, before it scammed out and crashed in March. And look, look what's happening right now. This looks very, very similar. So you guys got to pay attention. But you're so caught up in the hopium, you're so caught up in the cult culture that everything's going to be fine. And that's what they always tell you. That's what I thought. Everything's going to be fine. A few years ago, they gave like a full office tour. It looked so legit until you realize that somebody came out and said, hey, these are hired actors like on an elance.com or a guru.com where you could just go there and you could tell people what their roles are going to be. Like you're going to be the CEO. Here's a script. Read off of this script. Here's your day to day tasks. And you can find those people on places like Elance, like Fiverr, where you can hire these actors and they don't even know. They're essentially just doing what you're telling them to do and they end up being a part of a scam. It's pretty smart what people are doing up to this point. So there's been many videos out there on YouTube talking about Novatech giving proof why it's a scam. I'm actually going to include a video that was done on September 15th that is a 22 minute video that just explains and breaks down everything that I'm saying in complete detail. So I wanna give credit where credit is due. Go through the comments of that video too. It reveals a lot of truths. So guys, I hope you got value from this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you're completely against me, let me know too in the comments. Like, let's start a healthy debate. There's gonna be a lot of people that are Novatech, they're getting paid, you know, they're gonna let me know in the comments below, I've been getting paid since day, of course you have, so was I. And that's what they do to build your trust, to get you to invest more, to get you to continue to compound until they just rug pull. And that's the idea, is you see the numbers on the screen, you see how much money you're making from compounding and you just, you get more greedy. You're like, man, if I just continue to compound for a few more months, right? And those few more months never happen and you lose all your funds. And it's funny, the vernacular, the words that they use in their meetings to get you in to the program, to the business opportunity, without being direct, right? And you'll notice that people do this often is instead of saying, this is high risk, invest what you're willing to lose. They're saying things like, well, if you have some money aside that you're not using, then this is something, and instead of making 0.1% per year, you can earn 3% per week, which is ridiculous. There's nothing out there that's legit long-term that will pay 3%. Nothing legit long-term that will pay 3% per week does not exist. A certain amount of time, yes, it will, but not long-term. And what does that mean? That means eventually, rug pull, run off with your money, gone. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you want more honest reviews, let me know. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel, tick the bell icon. On this channel, we give you ways of making money online that require some sweat equity. We do have some high risk stuff, but we're gonna let you know that it's high risk. The problem isn't Novatech. The problem is, is that people go out there and preach that it's legit and make people think it's going to last forever and get them to invest their life savings. That is the problem. There's a time and a place for gambling, but be honest with people about what it is that you're getting them into. Thank you so much, you guys. It's Joshua Elder signing off. We'll see you guys in the next video. The resources are below to all the videos, all the links, the cease and desist, so you guys can do your own research and find that this is truly not legitimate. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.